Hey KISS fans, uh, it's been a while, but I got this new package. Um, it's an anniversary present uh, from my wife for our 25th anniversary. So I'm going to open this on camera, if I can manage to do so, just a sec. And this is a KISS item. As you can see on the package there, it's from Figures Toy Company, so it's some new KISS action figures. Let's take a peek inside here. Okay, let's see, we got some bubble packing. The packing slip, I'll get that out of here. So these are, and this is the first time obviously that I've seen them, um, I'm opening this box on camera here, the 8 inch um, destroyer figures. And you will get to see them uh, for the first time along with me here. So this is Ace, and these probably would look a lot better um, out of the package. Uh, with their hair loose and without the plastic on them and stuff, but overall, I think it looks pretty good. Let's see on the back, we've got a nice shot of the band from the Destroyer era, um, and then some uh, albums that some of the other figure sets have come from. So there's Ace. He's got a pretty decent looking costume considering it's, you know, kind of a throwback to the old Mego style figures. I like that they've taken a, a chunk or a piece of the Ken Kelly original art and used it uh, for the card art. That's very cool. Let's see, and here's Peter. From other videos I've seen, he's the least. Uh, he's the one that I've liked least in terms of the sculpting on his face and stuff. He's got a very high hairline. Um, costume's okay. Um, if you look at uh, this area of his costume compared to the illustration, you can see that it's not quite right. But not too bad overall. I mean, these are Mego style 8-inch uh, action figures. So they're yeah, I hate to make excuses, but they're they're not meant to be hot toys uh, quality. But there's Peter. He's got the same uh, stuff going on on the back. Let's see who's next here. We have Paul. Pull the protective plastic off of here. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell what they look like with these bands on them, but. Uh, there's Paul, not too shabby. It's probably the way they would have done a costume back in the 70s for a doll like this or an action figure like this. And last but not least, not least here in the bottom here is Jean. It's actually a pretty good facial sculpt on that one. I, I like that. Um, it looks like they've reused the monster armor. Um, but it's not too bad. I mean, that's, that's what a company back in the 70s would have done to um, minimize their new tooling costs on, on new toys. But... These are collector figures and they aren't cheap, so um, a nice, you know, a, a better version of the Destroyer armor would have been appreciated. But overall, um, it's definitely the Destroyer look for Gene. And you've got the illustration on the side from uh, Ken Kelly. So there's those. So I'm, I'm really glad to have these, uh, despite any uh, problems that they might have. I'm still liking these figures a lot. I think they're doing a, a great job. Uh, figures Toy Company is doing a great job of, of doing these 
kind of semi-low cost figures. Like I said, they're not hot toys. They're not $200 figures. Um, they're not even $100 figures. Um, so um, for what they are, I think you have to live with a few compromises. But overall, um, I like the set a lot. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and hopefully uh, I'll be doing more KISS reviews uh, in the near future. Uh, later.